Hi. Um, first I want to apologize because, um, due to needing to read to explain some things, um, I had to wear my eyes. Uh, okay. So, a lot of people have been asking me, well, what's so wrong with you that you're considering the amputation? Um, this is, I don't know if you can see, but this is some of my medical file. There's, uh, quite a bit of paper here. <laughs> um, and a lot of it I don't even understand myself, and it was never really explained to me. This is, um, x-rays of my first, uh, uh when I had, uh, x-rays done when I was little. And then I have some new x-rays here to share. Um, I'm just going to start with something kind of off the top that explains what my condition is and why amputation is even being considered right now. When I was born, um, I was born without an ankle with something that was later diagnosed as congenital pseudosteriosis of the right tibia. That is spelled P-S-E-U-D-O-A-R-T-H-R-O-S-I-S. Um, originally, it was treated at Shands, um, and they operated when I was eight months old. Um, then I was transferred to Shriners Hospital, and it says here that it seems from the history that the mother was non-compliant with the instructions and procedures failed. So there were several procedures and due to my mother not being compliant with the medical condition set forth, um, the procedures actually failed and there was um, further issues. Um, this happened when I was three, when I was transferred to Shriners in Tampa. Um, it says here, though, that when I was one year old, almost two, I was presented to the Jacksonville University Hospital. On arrival, it was determined that, um, I had a continued non-union of the fracture site. Um, I was eventually operated on where, in 84, when, um, I had the application of a plate and screws with the bone bank type of graft. No idea what that freaking means. Nobody's ever explained this to me. Um, after this operation, the cast was removed and apparently had been walking without supervision. Due to this, the plate was loosened and the non-union had persisted. And I had to receive a, a sep second operation in April of 85, where I had the same plate reattached and an additional plate used. An additional bone graft was placed in the area. Apparently, I was supposed to use electrical bone stimulating device. However, my mother was again non-compliant. Um, currently, since 85, the tibia has been progressively bowing um, anteriorly more and more, and the skin on the anterior aspect of the lower leg is severely attenuated. I have no idea what half this stuff means again, so I apologize. Um, the legal guardian of the patient was my great aunt. Um, she was explaining some of the things that I was going through, um, drainage, um, fevers, swollen feet. Um, it says that I didn't have any diseases, so that was good. Um, the family history is significant for congenital pseudosteriosis of the tibia in the mother, aunt, and brother of the mother. Mm, I don't think so. I've never read anything in my foster care file about my family having this in, in the history, so I'm kind of skeptical. Um, the patient lives with her great aunt, which I did. Um... It said in the upper extremities, I have full range of motion. Um, the right leg reveals 45 uh, degree anterior bowing at the junction of the middle distal third of the tibia. Um, it's a lot of doctor talk that I don't understand. General pseudiosis is the right tibia unresponsive to previous treatment. So 
at that time I'd already undergone several surgeries with Shans and so I began my history with Shriners. Okay, so when I went to the doctors um, recently and the idea of um, amputation started being thrown around, um, they took x-rays. Well, I don't know how well I can see. These are my x-rays. This is my left leg. My left leg's over here. Um, and it's pretty healthy. But my right leg, as you can see, there's some issues. And this is a healthy ankle. And this is my right ankle, as you can see. There's no real definition anywhere. And to get a better effect, though, this is my left foot. It's pretty healthy. I'm sorry, this is really poorly done. Um, but the foot's there where it needs to be. It's um, There's some issues in the ankle area, but they said that um, that could be from taking up the brunt from my right leg. This is why I'm pursuing amputation, unfortunately. Um, this is my right leg. Um, as you can see, the bowing, it's still pretty bad. Um, and this is my foot. And this is what I rock on. This is all that I walk on. And so, it's all pretty much collapsed in to here and it's left me walking on the heel. So, I don't know how well this can really be seen, but this is what I'm walking on and it's quite painful. Um, there are some serious issues and so anyways, lots of, lots of x-rays, tons of medical information that I don't understand. All I know is I'm in constant pain. This is the best option for me. And um, it's not an easy choice to make. So for those of you that have made your little comments to me and about me, um, know that you should be grateful you never have to make a decision like this. And um, if you have any questions, just ask me rather than make your assumptions about this choice that I'm making because as somebody who's already endured um, somewhere between 31 and 35 operations, um, one more operation versus 10 more is definitely worth it um, to increase my quality of life because in the end, it's myself, not you. Thanks.